How does it all play out? It's quite an adventure here at CBSN. It's been a day. Hi, everyone. Really good to see you again. I'm Anne Marie Green alongside Vladimir Dutier. Uh, we were off a little bit. I was off a little bit longer than you, uh, Vlad, for the Thanksgiving break. I hope everyone out there had, you know, a decent time. I know it's not what many people expected. Um, for us, it was just, you know, a small little group of us, the three of us. I also know for a lot of people, they tried to make it what it was last year. A lot of people <laughs> traveled, and that has a lot of uh, medical personnel now concerned about what the next few weeks is going to bring us. Yeah, in fact, uh, what I was I was chuckling, Emery, because I thought you were saying that a lot of people tried to replicate the dinner table as they had in years <laughs> Probably. past. Probably. Which <laughs> is what, what we tried to do um, for only two of us. You know, we tried to have like eight different dishes um, when we spent like 10 <laughs> hours in the kitchen. Um, but I also noted, um, and you and I were texting during the holiday, um, and you said something that was sort of interesting, and it made me think that we should actually do a piece like that um, you talked about you know having a Thanksgiving dinner of the things you and your husband and your child both enjoy all three enjoy and I said something yeah. interesting on CTM I was like you know my because we were talking about the famous the favorite foods across this country and people had like mashed potatoes and mac and cheese and I was like those were never on my dinner table because my parents are immigrants and we always had the turkey but <laughs> our sides were very very different and wouldn't it be interesting to see how people celebrate Thanksgiving the quintessential American holiday but incorporate the foods of their parents or their grandparents if they came from outside yeah. of the U.S. Yeah, yeah, same with us. I mean, we always had the traditional stuff, but then, of course, like we had the West Indian stuff. My parents are from the West Indies, so we had we had plenty of food. It turns out when we just picked our favorites, we actually only like sides. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I like that's how what husband we likes had, the, the wings of, of the turkey. He likes turkey wings. Yeah, I felt I, I feel like he felt like he needed to give a nod to Turkey, so he just did wings. <laughs> it was good great. enough. It was great. That's great. <laughs> uh, on the flip side, though, there are some grim numbers that we need to talk about. Uh, uh, on that, on, there's grim numbers, but there's also hope on the horizon. So let's begin with the developments uh, to bring a coronavirus vaccine to the United States. Moderna will request an emergency use authorization from the FDA to begin the vaccine distribution process. The company says the FDA will most likely discuss the authorization in a meeting on December 7th. Now, according to the company's data, the vaccine was nearly 95 percent effective in testing trials. Officials are continuing to sound the alarm, though, as Dr. Anthony Fauci warns we could face a surge upon a surge of the coronavirus. Millions of travelers, as you pointed out, Emory, ignored CDC guidelines to stay home during the holidays. More than four million people were infected in the country just in November. That is more than double any other month since the pandemic began in March. There are now more than 13 million confirmed cases in the United States and more than 266,000 confirmed deaths. Friday, we hit more than 200,000 cases in a day for the first time. CBS News correspondent David Begno is in Los Angeles where hospitals are struggling to keep up with the influx of patients. We're not going to 